The DJI FPV drone is called the potato, but not by me, by the FPV community. Now, is that fair? Is this drone really a potato? Now, this drone deserves some credit here. This changes the game when it comes to FPV. This was the first FPV drone DJI released, and that gave people like me an opportunity to get into the amazing hobby of first-person flying. Without this drone, I would never have even tried FPV because the barrier to entry was just too much and I didn't have time to spend on all the research that traditional FPV required. So along came the DJI FPV drone and what a beast of a drone. This drone can boogie and can reach speeds of up to 140 kilometers per hour. But that's where this whole potato thing comes into it. People have been calling it a potato because of its sluggish turning capabilities, prop wash, and that it flies really slow like a potato. But personally, only being fairly new to FPV and flying for just over a year, I enjoy flying this drone. It's not perfect, but for DJI's first launch into FPV, I think it's outstanding. The biggest drawback with this drone is the camera's capabilities. It does record in 4K up to 60 frames a second, and you can record in D-Cine-like, but the quality of this camera is just not up to scratch. That's why you see a lot of people mounting GoPros on top of their DJI FPV drone. And by doing this, it does completely make Make this drone usable. But you will now have a much heavier drone which will reduce your battery life and flying time. You will also have a much bigger drone profile than before, so if you wanted to go through smaller gaps, you run the risk of smashing your GoPro and your drone. Plus, you will also have to buy a GoPro to mount onto this drone, which is already pretty expensive. And then if you crash it, you potentially lose your drone and your GoPro, making it much more expensive if you happen to crash your DJI FPV. If you are a beginner wanting to get into FPV though, this could be the ticket you are looking for. The DJI FPV does have some really big advantages, and the first one is having the ability to hit the emergency brake button and hover if you start to get into a bit of a pickle. This function is not available on traditional FPV drones, and this feature alone could stop a potential crash and save you thousands of dollars. Another deal breaker could be the fact that you now have a simple battery solution. The DJI FPV uses smart batteries, so they decharge themselves and you can just throw these in your bag. However, with traditional FPV, it's an absolute clusterfuck where you have to baby your batteries and decharge and recharge very regularly with a manual battery charger. You really need to do your research just to charge these batteries because they are very dangerous and can easily start a fire if they are not stored properly in a LiPo safe bag. Also, when it comes to batteries, you will get significantly more flight time out of the DJI FPV than a traditional FPV drone. DJI rates the DJI FPV drone to approximately 20 minutes flight time. Now, personally, I've got about 12 to 15 minutes out of each battery and this depends on how aggressively you fly. But this is significantly more flight time than a traditional FPV drone, which you would only get around five minutes per battery. This on its own is enough for me to choose the DJI FPV over a traditional FPV drone. The DJI FPV also utilizes digital transmission, which can be used with traditional FPV drones, but a lot of enthusiasts insist on using analog. Have a look at this side by side and tell me which one you would prefer to use when flying. Yes, yeah, stuff that. Sometimes you can't even see where you're flying using analog. So this technology has also made the FPV experience so much more enjoyable. Another thing to keep in mind when thinking to purchase the DJI FPV is the goggles are pretty chunky compared to the new DJI goggles too. And sadly, these goggles are not compatible with the DJI FPV. So if you want to fly the DJI FPV, you are going to have to use these goggles, which personally is a bit of a bummer. So the DJI FPV is over two years old now, so should you buy this drone? Well, if you're like me and like things to be simple and safe when flying a drone, then absolutely. This drone is not a potato, it's far from it. Yeah, it needs some improving, but for DJI's first steps in FPV, this is an absolute game changer. But there are a couple of things to keep in mind. This drone is over two years old now, and you would think the DJI is planning on the DJI FPV 2.0, so hopefully they release this sometime soon. So it might be worth waiting a little to see if DJI release anything in the near future. But there is also a giant freaking pink elephant in the room, and that is the DJI Avada, which has obviously been released since the release of the FPV drone. If you are wondering if you should buy this drone instead, check out this video on screen. And that's it, hooroo, I'll see you in the next video.